Bonjour tout le monde, comment allez-vous? Aujourd'hui, très. We're going to continue our talk about gender en français, talking about adjectives and the relation to nouns en français. Allons-y, let's go. I mentioned briefly in the video about articles that for every word we have like la chaise or le portable, that la and that le, that we have a gender associated with each word. So, what that means is that every noun, every person, place, or thing has a gender associated with it. So, fais attention. I'm not saying that every verb has a gender. Just everything that we can, like, name. Does that make sense? So, verbs are conjugated, right? To whatever subject they are. Like, I am, you are, he is, she is. What's, what we're talking about when we're talking about things that have a gender assigned to them is just, just nouns. Mais, les adjectifs, adjectives, have both masculine and feminine forms. And what happens in French is that for every adjective, there's the masculine and feminine form, and they have to be in accordance, they have to agree with whatever their noun is. Does that make sense? I'll give you an example. So me... I identify as female. So, when I describe myself, maybe my physical appearance, I'm going to use the feminine versions of adjectives. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. And I'll hold up this so you can remember that I'm talking about the feminine adjectives, right? So moi, je suis grande. Grande. Moi, je suis blonde. Blonde. Je suis... Gentil, <laughs> je pense. Je suis gentil. Donc, if I was a garçon, or if I identified as male, I would be using different adjectives, right? So, I would say, je suis grand. Grand. Tell me if you can hear the difference between grand, grande. Grand, grande. If the R sound is too difficult still, and that's okay, because it takes a while, just try saying grand, 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 grand. Because the most important thing is that you distinguish between the en and the and. Because with le féminin, le féminin, we always add that de, -e, right? When we're saying grand, we pronounce the d. When we're doing the masculine, when we say grand, tall, we don't say that d. And that's how we distinguish between the two. I'll give you some more examples of masculine and feminine things that we went over in class, too. So we have grand and grande. We have petit and petite. And for height, the last one we did moyen and moyenne. Moyen, moyenne. So for any of these, if you're talking about yourself, whether, you're mas whether you identify as male or female, you can say je suis. So, je suis moyen, je suis moyenne, je suis grand, je suis grande. Let's move on to hair color now. Like I said earlier, moi je suis blonde. As ma if I was male, I'd say je suis blanc, je suis blonde, et je suis brun, je suis brune. Listen to that. Not only do we change the and end up pronouncing that N at the end, we also change the way that the vowel is pronounced with this one. So listen closely. Brun, brun, brune, brune. A, A, U, A, U. Then we have je suis roux, je suis roux, je suis rousse, je suis rousse. Très, très bien. The last thing that we went over in class for describing ourselves using adjectives was j'ai les yeux. Moi, moi j'ai les yeux verts. Moi j'ai les yeux verts. Peut-être, maybe you have les yeux bleus, or les yeux bruns, or les yeux noisettes. I have a quick question for you though. Since I'm female, would I have to change vert to the feminine form in this? Make it verte, verte? is the feminine form of green. Would I have to do that? The answer is no, I wouldn't. 
And why is that? Because the noun that goes with the color isn't me, isn't me, isn't je. It's les yeux, the eyes, right? And je, les yeux, is masculine. So whether or not the speaker is male or female, since the noun in this is masculine, les yeux, any adjective that will come after that describing that noun will also be masculine. Does that make sense? So you could say j'ai les yeux bleus, j'ai les yeux verts, moi oui, j'ai les yeux verts, j'ai les yeux bruns, j'ai les yeux noisettes, or some people might say j'ai les yeux gris, gray, j'ai les yeux gris. Voilà, merci, oui, au revoir.